Welcome back to the channel, dudes. This is Built by Blake. Today, we are finally working on the new 400 kilowatt motor. In this one, what I wanted to do was I wanted to just do as much shit now so that when it comes in and here and just goes up on the hoist, theoretically, this just drops in, it plugs in, it turns on, and we're done. The first thing I need to do is delete this air pump. I have no idea what the f it's for, but some genius has decided that it was needed for emissions. All I've heard is bad things about it. Apparently when it throws codes, it um, just screws with everything. I've got these little blank off plates for some dude on the internet, which just bolt onto the back of where the air pump goes. These cost me $80 Australian, and they are probably $3 worth of metal, so somebody's making bank off that. And the next thing is I'm gonna remove this whole manifold. Uh, I'm gonna gut the full fuel system, take all of the rails out, all of the shit running underneath the manifold, because that's gonna go. Take off this three inch inlet tube, because that's gonna go as well. We're obviously doing a twist mount setup. That's probably about it for today. And then, well, the manifold's not gonna go back on, because I've got TGV deletes to go in as well. And then on top of all that, it still has to get sent away and get the Kelford 272 cam to put in it. So obviously that's something I can't do myself because they need to be um, machine, the heads need to be machine and stuff like that. So get this sort of stripped down and, and looking somewhat half decent and then take it down, get the cans put in it, come back, put it in the car, be done with it. Let's do it! Remember the bolt that I dropped? There she is. I got a little bit carried away. This AC is gonna have to come off because I don't want to have to regas my AC. I'd rather just use the one from my car at the moment. It's perfectly fine. I can't see how to take the tension off this belt. 
It looks like there should be a tensioner here and a pulley, I'm assuming, and I can't see any sort of hinging movement, so I might just have to go for it. I'm just gonna undo the bolt or something. That's gonna fucking pop for sure. There's no way that is right. There's no way that's right. That needs to fucking come in. Alright, stuff this. We're going for it. I'm just going to hold this up and back this bolt out. It's the only bolt holding it in. This could be... Oh! That wasn't so bad. Alright, so... Ah, uh, fuck. I forgot about that. Alrighty, so the whole point of this... Oh, so... Back onto the air pump. The air pump literally just sits at the front of the motor, looks ugly as dog shit, goes through solenoids and pumps into here, pumps into that hole there, come around this side, pumps into that hole there. These little things here are exactly cutouts for that and that, they come with, uh, they come with gaskets and everything else. The only thing that you have to do is just, I'm gonna chuck some Loctite on that. They even come with bolts. I'm gonna chuck some lo Loctite on these bolts as well uh, because I've, there's no chance in f that I'm gonna be able to get to these once this motor's installed. You probably can do it. There's probably someone says, no, oh, no, you can do it, no, no, no. No fucking way. No way. They're getting done up once and they're never coming undone again. <laughs> Just like that, we are done. One little cap over the end on this side here. Get that one blocked off over there. She's looking a little bit bare now, uh, but all good. I am gonna give this a bit of a clean. Uh, I'm just probably gonna do some soapy hot water, maybe a steam clean, maybe like a wire brush or something just to clean it all up. But that'll be on a later video, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the TGV deletes and then clean it all up in a later video because I feel like that could be a bit in depth to try and make it look pretty nice. Maybe make these plastic covers nice and black again. Everything else is pulled apart, manifold down here, inlet manifold on the ground, and then all the other stuff is on the ground here. So, um, Oh yeah, and then I've got my radium fuel rails which are uh, covered in oil from when I turned the engine upside down on itself and didn't even realise. Awesome. Uh, everything else is mint. Inlet tube is going to go up for sale soon. I got 1300cc Bosch injectors when I bought the motor, um, but I have since got these ID2000s fully tested and cleaned by a company down in Melbourne which I cannot remember the name of. Uh, I can't remember the name of them. If I find it, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, they're like within 0.1% of each other. So um, 1300s probably would have done it, but it's nice to have the wiggle room of 2000s. Thanks for watching. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see this motor turn out. Um, subscribe if you want to see this motor potentially blow up. I really don't have much idea of what we're doing. It's kind of nice to have the WRX. You guys would have seen the WRX, but it's kind of nice to have that as a bit of a guinea pig. Look where we're going to go with this. A little bit different build, but we're getting there. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. Ever since you shut the door on everything we knew You're too late for love, 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 love